Guys, Jackie M, welcome to Masters of Malaysian Cuisine. Great to have you with us. Uh, make sure you say hello, let us know where you're watching from and do a hashtag live. If you're watching it live, hashtag replay if you're watching a replay. And don't forget to sign up at malaysianchefs.com slash join today. And uh, we are going to be making, uh, let me just actually quickly uh, get this lined up, but we're going to be introducing Sebastian Mo again, for those of you who missed last week's session because of problems with Sebastian's uh, connection. Um, today, hopefully we've got all the tech sorted out. So welcome, Sebastian. Great to have you with us. And oh, Sebastian, by the way, guys, he's uh, from Malaysia originally, and he is now based in Kentucky in the USA. And also his specialty really is kind of like, um, how would I, is, is a healthy bent on Asian cooking. Is that right, Sebastian? Oh, yeah, yeah. I do a lot of uh, uh, thinking about how Asian food uh, can, can move uh, through many directions and towards okay. many different needs, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you don't know, guys, look up Sebastian on Facebook, right? He posts these amazing, amazing food photos and he's had a lot of interest and, um, you know, uh, a lot of traction with his food photos, a lot of engagement. Uh, not all of it positive, though, because we're going to talk about it in a little bit. But <laughs> okay. um, Sebastian, uh, why don't you tell us, first of all, what you're making today? Today I'm making Mapo Tofu. Yeah. Mapo Hopefully, Tofu. Yeah. Okay. Have you heard of that before? I, I have, but I've never actually eaten it from memory because I always thought that mapo tofu is made with pork. But I checked with you today because we have a lot of Malay viewers. I, was, uh, I, I wanted to make sure that we are all on the same page. And you said actually mapo tofu is made, uh, the original mapo tofu is actually made with beef. And that really surprised me and that really intrigued me as well. Because like I said, even though I'm Chinese, I don't eat pork and I've never eaten it because I don't eat pork, right? And this time it's going to be with beef. Um, now. And before we go on any further, just let me play a quick clip from Tourism Malaysia, and then we're going to come back and we'll talk about what we're going to learn about this particular dish today from Sebastian. Okay, he's a true master of his craft, and I'm really excited to have him. But uh, let's uh, have a quick look at Tourism Malaysia's clip, and we'll be back shortly. Truly Asia. Yeah, guys, Jackie M back again. And also, like I said, don't forget to say hello and let us know where you're watching from so we can show, um, uh, display it on screen and say hello to you properly. Uh, but like I said, this is a special Masters of Malaysian Cuisine broadcast that we run in partnership with our uh, with Facebook group Masa Apa Tak Jadi Hari Ini Apa Kabar Semua Jangan lupa kalau you nak uh, recipe ni kita kena daftar dekat malaysianchefs.com slash join today okay and you'll get the recipe from Sebastian um, but yeah Sebastian good to have you back again like I said yeah so tell us uh, what are our viewers going to learn from you specifically about this dish today this is actually uh, fast and easy and simple too the ingredient actually is very simple um if you see some ingredient you don't have, don't even worry about it. Just just skip it. And people can be making this mapo tofu with just tofu and sauce. It'll be it'll be awesome too. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, so okay. Worry. Now yeah. Uh, we were talking before we started, and you mentioned mapo tofu is actually from Sichuan originally. Is that right? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. it's okay. In the, now, in the in the late eighteen uh, hundred, yeah. Okay, late 1800s, mapo tofu. Okay, do you know what how it originated or anything like that? Or are you just interested in the way it's made? I, I, did, I did have to uh, Google it too and, and, and learn more okay. about so the story. And I can read Chinese, so I have been reading uh, many pages of, of the, the story. Of, of course, the, each page has their own version or like, okay, there's some descriptions here and there, but but I'm pretty sure it's, it's somewhere around late 1800s. Yeah. Sure, sure. Okay, that's fascinating. Um, yeah. yeah, like I said, mapo tofu is really like you see it everywhere on that restaurant menus, right? And yeah. I have never ever ordered it because I don't eat pork and I always thought it's only made with pork, but apparently it was originally made with beef. So yeah, yeah. Um, how, like, obviously you've had both versions. How different does it taste when it's made with beef? 
as opposed to Paul? Does it like from, does it from, add from anything what, to from it? What I read, from what I read, people change to Paul because Paul is cheaper than beef. That, that, that is that okay. Uh, but but beef is, is just richer. I, I, for, for me, uh, uh, as a person who loves to cook, I, I really don't differentiate between uh, which ingredient is better than the other one. Each, each one have their own. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Now, um, because I've never had this before, and um, is it spicy or is it like typical Sichuan dishes and it's really hot or? Yes. Uh, if, 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 we, if we are making the Tichuan version and, 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 and uh -huh. they have like a, a eight words for it, and then one of the words is spice la. And, and okay. the three major points in this uh, Sichuan style, and uh, I'm emphasizing the Sichuan style, the many style is ma la tang. Okay. It's like ma, it's like uh, numbness, la is it, it, spicy, and tang means the temperature is very hot. That's the three main points. Is that what it means? Style. Yeah. Ma la tang means like, um, can you repeat what they mean again? Uh, ma is like a numbness. Like a ma is numbness. Pepper. Yeah, and, okay. and la is from the, from the chili pepper, it's spicy. Oh, la, and, yeah, yeah, la. And tang is like hot, hot temperature. It's hot, hot, temperature. hot temperature. Does every does anyone know that? I never knew. I see the word mala tang everywhere in Sydney nowadays, and really? even though I'm Chinese, right? Yeah, I like there are actually restaurants that are called mala tang, like you know mala really? tang. Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> and I never knew oh, okay. what it meant because it's a mainland Chinese thing. Um, so that, actually, so numbness to do with the 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 spiciness, right? Uh, la to do with Num yeah, num oh, numbness num from the peppercorn. Yeah, the peppercorn. Numbness from the pe peppercorn. La is uh, spicy and tang is to do with, what was that again? Temperature. T temperature, okay. Very, so, very hot. It's like almost impossible to swallow. Very hot. And, and, and oh, that's the okay. way to make it very, very hot. Yeah, it's one of the characteristics of, of the Mapo tofu. And the rest okay. can be, uh, but, 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 but. I had Japanese version before, not even ma, not even la. So, so it's like. <laughs> oh, wait, okay. that's a Japanese version of mapo tofu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Uh, but oh, to wow. evolve. And, and I have the sweet version also, and I have vegetarian version also, and, and it, 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 it's all good. <laughs> oh, interesting, interesting. I never knew that. Okay. Um, you, do you want to sh um, get started and show us like what you're going to do first? Yeah, sure. And uh, tell uh, us what ingredients should... you've got. Actually, yeah, 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 absolutely. Of course, the for mapo tofu, the, the first ingredient is tofu, and okay. Here we, uh, I use a soft tofu, okay. Just let me try and change the layout a little bit, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. okay. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. And this one says soft tofu, uh, I okay. use silken tofu, it might be too soft, okay, and, right, right. So, and, this type of tofu is not quite as soft as the silken tofu, yeah, is that right? Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And then of course, uh, optional is, 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 a, is a ground meat, any kind of meat you like to use actually. And it's prefer to okay. have some, uh, like if you, if you uh, like to have more flavor, of course, fat is, is, a, is a major uh, contributor to, to the flavor itself. So, is that right? So, okay. Yeah, so best to have some kind of, like, uh, you know, have some fat in there if you like, or you can use all the meat. And, and for oh, the right. spiciness, it's very easy. It's only like a uh, garlic, a little bit of scallion. Okay. Uh -huh. With a uh, green onion. We're gonna use just the okay. other part only, the white part only. And then, right. okay. and then the garlic shoot. Okay, garlic shoots as in like uh, is that what we call garlic chives here? No. Is it? Uh, it's, actually garlic, it's not. It's, it's actually garlic green, which means like uh, when you planted a garlic clove and they grow into a a plant and that is the green we use. Yeah, this is a traditional uh, topping for mapo tofu, not green onion, but the garlic uh, shoot. Can can you can you hold it up to the camera again? Sorry. This one is this one is for my garden. It's right. just that uh, okay. it's not in season so that's in my the... town. Yeah, it's not okay. in my town right now. This is for my garden. It's just garlic. You just plant some garlic into your ground and you you, you got it in, in a few weeks. And, and, I thought that's garlic chives, no? No, garlic chai, <laughs> garlic chai is too chai, yeah. Garlic chai is too chai, have different yeah, yeah. Uh, flavor. 
different if you, oh, you can right. use that yeah, if you want <laughs> okay see I, I, i've learned something new here um uh, just quickly hello to everyone uh, somebody a facebook user here says thank god i managed to join your live jackie <laughs> well welcome great to have you all right um i can't see your name because of the uh just the way facebook displays stuff um laura says uh, uh hello from penang great to have you laura and Winnie's, uh, Winnie Yan says, hello, great to have you. Hi. Esther, Esther and Sebastian says, uh, mapo tofu, but oily. <laughs> yes, um, that's the other thing we're going to talk about as well. Uh, yeah, and Laura says hello to Sebastian as well. Hamima, Hamima, great to have you. So, uh, Hamima's watching from Malaysia. Oh, okay. So, cool. Yeah, all right. Um, now, so tell us about the oily part, okay? Is it does it have to be super oily? Because it always looks really oily to me. Does it have to be like that, or I'm gonna show you the oily version simply because uh, okay. you can adjust. Simply because uh, there's a reason behind why it's so oily, and, and I'll, okay. I'll explain a little bit more. But but sure. when when we see a, a a recipe and you see somebody use a lot of oil, and if, if you don't want to use a lot of oil, just reduce it, and, and, okay. and or, or too much salt, <laughs> or whatever. Just adjust yourself. Yeah. Okay. And the reason yeah. why it can stay a hot time is because of the oil. The okay. Tongue, yeah, yeah, the tongue part, yeah, they have a lot of oil in there. And, and that's the old saying, whether it's true or not, they say that if you can see the steam of, of the mapo tofu, it's authentic. I was like, really? <laughs> Which means uh, the oil is covered up. They, it, it always keeps the, keep the, keep the temperature inside. So it's insulated. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> my 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 yeah, my my one exposure to Sichuan cuisine was when I actually visited uh Chiang Mai in Thailand of all places. You wouldn't expect I've never been to China, but I went to Chiang Mai and stayed with the, the Shangri-La resort there hosted me for a few days, you see. Mm -hmm. And ironically, the Shangri-La resort hotels um keys like restaurant their main restaurant there was actually a sichuan restaurant because apparently the owner of shangri -Rai resort who's actually malaysian was a fan okay. of the cuisine so they opened a sichuan restaurant there and the first night i was there they had a big dinner there for me and everything like was just used a lot of different types of sichuan chilies but also there was a lot of oil in them and what i was told at the time was because it's like cold in that part of china so they need the oil to 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 kind of like stay warm. <laughs> so it's kind of like a little bit different, you know. Yeah, it's a little different, a little different. Uh, but the oil is the conductor of flavor, uh, uh, not uh, of mm -hmm. course uh, the the basic of flavor. Make for those who, who are interested to know, uh, the flavor is either water soluble or oil soluble or alcohol soluble. So we use the different in, uh, material vehicle to bring out the flavor. So, so in China, okay. it's oil soluble. That's why uh, uh, okay. when you eat hot food, it's too spicy for you. you keep drinking water, it's not gonna do much unless you drink some milk okay. because they have fat in that too soluble. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Right here. All right. So let's um let's see what you what what you have to do first when you make this. Okay. Uh, what happens? Uh, we're gonna keep explaining a little bit more about the ingredient. This is the uh, okay. Uh, Jiang. What's it called again? Let me have uh, a look. Dou Jiang, it's a bean paste. Dou Ban Jiang, okay. Yeah. Um, can you hold it up to this uh, smaller camera here? Yeah, um, just to the right of oh, it. Oh, yeah, I can, I can see Okay. That, yeah. Sure. There, there are many brands, okay. but this is the brand I use. Yeah, if you can find. Okay. Or you, uh, this is from Sichuan, but you can find other countries one. And, uh, it tastes differently, and the saltiness or sweetness are different. Just adjust the recipe. And then the other All one, right. the other one is Sichuan peppercorn. Okay, this that a, I know. A, yeah, this is the right kind. And this is, uh, uh, the quality is, that's the best I can get. Uh, the best to choose the one without a lot of seed, black seed inside, and mostly just a shell. That's where the flavor is. Okay. Okay, right, right. And then, the and Jiang, more, what did you say, yeah, what did you say is inside the Doban Jiang again? Uh, broad bean. Broad beans. Broad, Broad bean and red chili, bell chili. Uh, bell, uh, broad bean of, uh, and red chili. Yeah, red chili. Not spicy, not spicy chili, but red color chili. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Cool, uh, yeah. cool. And then uh, we have a uh, fermented black bean. All right. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that it had the black bean in it. That's uh, really yeah, interesting. Black bean in there, but it's optional. As I say, it's optional. Okay. 
So oh, if you can't that. get that Doubanjiang thing, can you actually make your own or do you need it I for know, Mapo Tofu? Um, uh, we can break it out. Doubanjiang is almost like a Taiwanese, so. so. Oh, that's Taiwanese. Okay, sure, sure. I mean, to, to me, so yeah, you... I feel like it's a fermented bean and, and the purpose is for umami taste and saltiness. Okay. And, and we can kind of adjust from there. Can you use the Korean gokujang uh, paste? Or yeah. Uh, All right. It tastes very different. Uh, gokujang, okay. the main ingredient, probably not bean, but uh, rice, sweet rice. Yeah. Is that right? I didn't know and that. I, I, I lots, and lots of sugar. Lots of sugar. Lots of sugar, <laughs> lots of sugar and, and sweet rice. Yeah. I mean, you, you have right. different taste profile. Yeah. So uh, okay. they do have tofu stew with gochujang. They have, do have uh, Korean have to, uh, go to gochujang sure. uh, stew tofu. Yeah, and okay, the rest uh, the soy sauce, soy okay. sauce, and then I uh, also have a uh, 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 Sichuan peppercorn oil. This optional. What is it again? Uh, Sichuan peppercorn oil. Sichuan peppercorn is, oil. I've never seen that. Okay. Yeah, this uh, they have two kinds. One is the red uh, peppercorn. This is the green peppercorn. I just have the green one. Uh, I have finished my red one. The, the red one, the red one is more numbness. This one a little bit more fragrant. And uh, so all right. You, well, if you are interested to buy this, be sure to check the expiration date. Do not buy the one that is too old. Okay, all oil should check the expiration date. You don't want to be. There you go, guys. Oil. The tip yeah. from Sebastian. If you if you if you cook something beautiful, all of a sudden the oil is, is bad, it pour on it, it's like eh, now it's now the whole dish yeah. is like horrible. Oh, yeah, um, I have never heard of Sichuan peppercorn oil. I'm gonna look for it. Okay. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Uh, uh -huh. And then I also have some uh, red chili oil. Red chili oil, and you make this yourself? I, I make it myself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This What's one, involved uh, actually, in making that? This one is actually very simple. Uh, I, I happen to have uh, a few kinds of chili uh, powder. I use two kinds of chili powder. One is the Sichuan. Uh, they say Zi Tian Jia, which means the one pointing to the to the sky. I'm assuming it's for, like a Thai, Thai pepper kind of chili. And then the other one is Kashmiri uh, pepper, uh, chili powder. And, Kashmiri and, chili powder. Okay. Yes. And then uh, uh, to make this is very easy. We take some oil into like maybe 80% hardness, like a heat, and then the powder in mix it put in the bowl and you're just pouring the the powder into the into the powder. But you want okay. to pour it in, in at least three different times, which means you, you pour one third of it, stir, wait for like maybe 30 seconds, pour one more time, and stir, and then pour and until until it's done. Yeah. The, the right. reason is the reason is the they, have, they create a multiple layer of flavor. If you just cook all at one, you just have one dimension. It should be because okay. all cook the same time. Yeah. Okay. And so, what's the first see, type of chili powder you use again? This is a Sichuan style, a uh, uh, hot chili powder. They will say on the Sichuan on the style. package. Yeah, they, they okay. come from so Sichuan hot. area. And, yeah. But but any sure. hot chili pepper will, will work fine the chili powder and I can tell I mean China have produced so much uh, chili powder I don't probably they themselves don't know where they come from too maybe <laughs> yeah right right but, interesting but, but the okay. you have to sit overnight if you make that and as I said earlier uh, the oil doesn't last long when you make it fresh yeah okay okay cool cool yeah uh, and then I think we can begin yeah the first thing yeah, I'm gonna do sure. is the uh, unless you, I didn't want to have any questions. Um, no, no, that's all right. Go, go ahead and I'll hit okay. you up if I, yeah, if I get any questions. So guys, yeah, okay. don't forget to post any questions you have and I'll ask Sebastian, okay? But if you want the recipe, don't forget you need to sign up at malaysianchefs.com slash join today and we'll get Sebastian to send us the recipe along with last week's dish yeah. as well that Sebastian sure, cooked. Sure. So he's going to yeah. share the recipe with us in, um, in your membership area soon, okay? And for yeah, those of you who are waiting for our MOMCV Mac, we're working on it. <laughs> I know some some of you have been chasing me up. We're two two we're two issues behind, but we are uh, we are on it, and hopefully very soon we will have uh we'll 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 catch up. All right. Here I'm toasting some uh, seasoned peppercorn in like like a medium low heat. Okay. Uh, my pan is already preheated. That's why you can uh, see it some time. Cool. But uh, a little bit too hot now, so I'm going to take it off. 
Right. I like your water and pestle. It looks oh. very unique. Oh, cool. Thanks. I've never seen one like that before. Can, can you see it? Okay. So yeah, gonna, interesting. <laughs> gonna be a, we should wait cool. Where did you get that from? Huh? Where did you get that mortar and pestle from? Um, Amazon. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you went to Tibet or something like that to get it. <laughs> I, I have, I, I, I love it. I have a few different kinds. And, oh, okay. And, uh, I was I was hunting for them. Oh, this isn't so cool. And of course, the price is <laughs> it, it must be my you know some are so expensive. Like, do, do I really need it? I have I have more than enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I know some of our MOMC chefs. They have like a whole collection of like batule song, like all the different types of modern pestles. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm slowly. <laughs> It's I'm really addicted. I'm uh, really addicted to them. <laughs> so yeah. I kind of them, kind of like uh, sure. making into a powder form. But yeah, uh, it's almost impossible to make the whole thing. Um, oh, I can smell it so so fragrant. The whole thing powder. Now I want to ask you. Yeah. I always tell people, like with Malaysian cooking, you just use the bird's eye chilies or you use the big chilies. Big chilies or small chilies. That's how I grew up. <laughs> knowing like what type of chilies to use right because you're in america every time i cook something because for a few years i was live streaming on a different platform where most of my audience was american every time i use chili i'll be like what type of pepper is it you know i'm thinking like you know i'm not american we don't have we don't go into habaneros and have you know jalapenos and all that it's all big chilies or small chilies that's why i always tell that and now you come along and do setuan pep uh setuan dish and you've got like all these different types of setuan chilies so um can you um, tell us if you can't get all these Sichuan specific types of chili, can you just use your regular Malaysian, like, uh, you know, of course, um, big yeah. chilies and Of course, <laughs> of course. yeah, I just use it. Yeah. Okay. Fine. But, but you would but use for, dry for, chili for, as opposed to fresh chili? Like, uh, yeah, this, this, this is use uh, 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 dry chili. The, the fresh chili will be different kind of dishes. Uh, oh, okay. Bit, okay. But here you can see all this uh, uh, pizza thing here. Uh, it's yeah. impossible to grind them from the way. Yeah, they they oh, they are really? so, they're so hard to eat. Also, uh, they don't taste good unless you want to soak them in water and use it in other dishes. All right, there you go, guys. That's another tip. So when you grind your Sichuan pepper, you have to sift it. You have to sieve it, and then like um, you have to sift it. What am I talking about? And <laughs> And throw out the the, the 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 chunky bits, all right. And Annie, great to see you. Annie says hi, Jackie and Sebastian. Sorry, I'm late, but still yeah. live. Great to have you with us. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So the next one, I'm going to temper the tofu. Okay. Okay. Cool. So guys, um, the tofu he's using is a soft tofu, but not the silken tofu that you see sometimes nowadays. I sometimes even I get confused about what type of tofu to use. You know. So yeah, Sebastian yeah. says that the, the Japanese silken tofu might be too soft for this. You want this type instead. Okay. Yeah, can you hold it up to the use. camera so we can have a look? At, now I have um, a lot of water a, now, so you have a lot of water. Sure, yeah. It's a bit yeah. tricky. Uh, yep, this way. You say soft. Okay, soft. Okay, sure. Great. Uh, So is it easy to buy tofu in your part of America, Sebastian? Oh yeah, yeah, it's very easy here. It's selling everywhere in all the grocery store. Do you have a Chinatown in Kentucky? I sound really ignorant now. No, <laughs> no. no Chinatown. I'm gonna okay. Cut into like you know, eyeballing it. So I'm gonna okay. Uh, like uh, into three layer. Okay. Oh, nice. That's a ni nice sharp knife there. <laughs> kiwi, kiwi knife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I kind of kind of like eyeballing it. I don't really particular about really in, at the end, but it's kind of like, okay. not too, not like dice, you know, tiny, because they need all okay. the heat, you know, but not too big, okay. and like uh, but people, but they do have big version too. You know, but I can do almost like you know, uh, okay, something like that. This actually it's looks more enough. firm than I expected. This uh, soft tofu. Right now it's cold. Uh, That's why I temper it. 
Yeah, it's pulling the hot oh, water. Okay. Yeah, All it. right. Yeah, the reason we don't want temper, uh, one of the the characteristic of, of the uh, mapo tofu the, at the end of the of the dish to stay the same shape, not broken. Okay. Off. Yeah, I mean this is for if you want to be in the competition. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> okay, because every time I see it, yeah, they always look like they're like mashed tofu, you know. So they're meant to actually hold their shape. Is that right? Yeah, it's one of the word. There's eight words to uh, mala tang, and then the. Uh, in Sichuan words called Hun, or, or maybe I say it wrong, but it means how to hold the shape. Okay, okay. Yeah. There you go, guys. Yeah. So if you've been doing like yeah. your mapo tofu um, too soft, you're doing it wrong. They're supposed yeah. to be. <laughs> no, no. I wouldn't say doing it wrong, but just, and then I put a little bit of salt inside. And, uh, okay. Not a lot, just, just enough to have some uh, base uh, taste to it. Because at the end, sure. you can have a piece of yeah. Sure, yeah. cool. And yeah, speaking of doing it wrong, right? Sebastian, yeah, you, you were sharing some screenshots with me last week. It's quite yeah. funny because um, Sebastian, like I said, guys, he posts a lot of beautiful food photos and he shares them to different groups. And he shared in this uh, Facebook group for chefs, right, this photo of uh, blue rice. In Malaysia, we use blue rice in nasi krabu, which is made from the... Uh, the blue yeah. pea flower extract to make it blue and apparently these chefs from other parts of the world got really upset with him <laughs> because they said there's no <laughs> such thing as blue rice isn't that amazing <laughs> i know i know some might even be oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah see how Mima says the soft tofu we have here is really soft it will not hold shape well Right? Am I? I was thinking that because I was thinking like if I bought like a pack of soft tofu in Australia, I don't think I could just kind of like slice it through and cut it like that and have it still look um, perfectly like, you know. If, if the tofu can be shit on your hand, it can be cut. Is that right? Okay. I mean, this to me. <laughs> that's the, that's the test, guys. <laughs> See. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put some oil in my pan. Uh, maybe about. All right. I'm gonna start a little bit. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe three, two, three tablespoon. Yeah. Who, who is something? <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna oh. fry my. Uh... Oh, I forgot one thing. Before I, I move on. Okay. I need to cut all these uh, herbs and spicy for, uh, spices for before we Oh, yeah, continue. sure. <laughs> we keep talking sure, about sure. all this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about sure. it. Yeah. And garlic. Great. You can see. You can see. Okay. Maybe cool. this angle is better. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. I just gonna, I just gonna just yes, mint it. Cool. So guys, the other day we were talking about Sebastian's knife. I, I use the same knife for most of my cooking. <laughs> and it's not super expensive. It is a, it's a few dollars if you buy it. And you get it from Asian grocery stores. And they're like a Kiwi brand knife. So for those of you who think you need like a special expensive set of chef's knife, like I said, Sebastian's one of the most skilled chefs I see online, right? And he just uses this, this cheaper knife. So I give you I give you permission to get a cheap knife, all right? <laughs> For your cooking. And in fact, you have no excuse now, right? You can't blame your knife if your food doesn't turn out. <laughs> cool. This is almost like a disposable knife. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I used to use these knives because I used to do a lot of outdoor events where, you know, things get missing, they go missing, they get lost. And, you know, this reminds me of this particular incident because I use a lot of these knives. There was one yeah. time I was trading at this outdoor event and the guy in the store next to mine came yeah. in the morning and asked, oh, do you have a knife I can borrow? So he yeah. took one of these knives and then he forgot to give it back. You know, oh, so yeah. <laughs> later on, like, uh, later on, like, I don't know if it was the same day or the week after I asked him, I said, oh, you know, that knife, um, can I have it back? You know, I went to, to his store, said, can I have the knife back? And he looked at it and said, no, I'm sorry, Jackie, that's not your knife. This is my knife. And I know because it comes in a set. 
And yeah. my staff was so mad at him. They're like, these knives don't come in a set. They're just like cheap knives that you just buy like individually. <laughs> oh All right, it's not part of a set of knives. Yeah, I mean, he That's wasn't horrible. mean. He was really sincere. He, he you know, he totally forgot yeah. that it was my knife. And oh, he just, I'm sorry, Jackie, but this is actually my knife. I bought it as a set, you know. But, oh, my God, my staff was so angry with him. But it's exactly oh, those knives. But, you know, for what it was worth, like I said, it's only like four bucks, you know. So it's no big loss to us. But, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. So uh, I, I missed the, the shallot, shallot and, the, and, the, and the garlic. I might not use them all, okay. but uh, okay. And then for the uh, garnish. Oh, I just dropped my idea. <laughs> cool. Let's have a look oh, and see what Annie is saying. I've okay. been doing it wrong. I've been purposely breaking up the tofu. See, that's the thing. I, Annie says she has been doing it wrong this whole time because she's been pers purposely breaking up the tofu as she cooked Mapo tofu. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a different day. Uh, the breaking elbow is corn chi tofu. That's a different day. It's what, sorry? Chicken chi, uh, chi chua tofu. Yeah, it's a different dish. Chi chua tofu. Okay. It's been the uh, chicken scratch. Chicken scratch tofu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, there you uh, go. Uh, uh, yeah. The, 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 this one, uh, let me see. I'm going to use just the white part. Okay. Cool. Simply because the uh, uh, Sichuan dish have Sichuan have so many dishes just like any other 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 cuisine. <clears throat> so 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 when they mention a dish, they like to have uh, some kind of a set, you know, saying you know this is what it is and and how the flavors should be. Just so many, or else get confused. Okay, cool, cool. I mean, yeah. for, for 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 the people who want to you know teaching or learning, but and then after that, you can do whatever you like. That's so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, any Thompson says so. She's been making chicken scratch tofu this whole time. <laughs> I, I love it. I, I actually posted, uh, posted a few uh, scratch tofu on my on my page too. I mean, that tasty. All right. Okay, Haslina from uh, live from Sha'alama. Hey, Haslina, Haslina, great to have you. And guys, uh, again, a shout out to Haslina. She's been very diligent in helping us get some of our uh, our matjon recipes out of the way. So thank you, Haslina. I still have to go in and fix the chef's bios, Haslina. So that's why you, if you haven't seen it on the members area yet, that's because it's on me because I still have to do all that along the, with the 50 million other things that I have to do. So... There you go. Those are the, um, the garlic shoes. I promise that looks exactly like garlic chives to me. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> because this is so young, this is so young, but actually a lot sure. bigger than, than garlic. It's very big. Actually. Okay. Yeah. All right. So these are like yeah, they look like garlic chives, but they're bigger. Yeah, it's just that uh, some season in in the store right now, but it's coming soon. Next next month, uh, we'll, we'll see a lot of it from China. And, and, okay. Uh, delicious. Yeah. This too young okay. and too thin. But I got what I got. Yeah, I'm just showing to you that what to use. But if All you right. don't have it, don't worry about it. Just do green onion. If not, don't worry even worry about it. So, so All these right. two, you chop differently. Okay. Then the, the, sure. The, shot, uh, the the scallion white part, you know, mint sure. uh, is fine. And then the the garlic shoot is a little longer. Okay. Okay. And then I guess right. we're pretty much done for for the. Uh, for the for the main part and now we we come for the second part this thing uh the actual cooking time is short because we make everything from scratch so we take a bit longer okay yeah. sure mm -hmm. so this so is what the, do you do with the you just uh, like pan fry it without any anything added to it which one or the beef mince do you pre-cook it first or you just we add have everything to together it, yeah, with the cook it we just have to prep all this first and this is okay. the, uh, the, the fermented black bean. Fermented okay, black bean. Maybe, okay. you know, depending on how you like it, they're kind of salty at the same time. So you want to see, you know, how much you want to use it. So okay, I'm just cool. going to use maybe, you know, about maybe slightly more than a, 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 a teaspoon. A teaspoon, okay. And, uh, slightly Tava more. Tava says hello it. from Sydney. Yeah. Yay. Oh, Great hey, to have yeah. you, Tava. Oh, he's staying so, up late. <laughs> So this black bean, I'm roughly chopped, not finely chopped, just roughly. 
just like roughly chopped pieces, like kind of like ah, yeah, kind of the two or three pieces. Okay. okay. So can I ask you what's the difference in flavor between like oh in use and in flavor between uh, black bean fermented black bean and fermented soybean? Um, I think they're different. I guess they're the same thing. To me, the, I think they're the same thing. Okay. <laughs> the, 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 the black bean, the black bean actually soybean. Yeah, really. Yeah. Because it's like the, the it's like a lot saltier. I find like the uh, soybean like usually they are less dark in color, and a lot of the time if you buy like ground bean paste or whatever, it's had sugar added to it. So can you just use something out of a jar like a ground bean paste or? Uh, this this one have a reason the use of fermented uh, black bean. All right. It, it, okay. it has a flavor bomb in your in, in, in your in your in your mouth field. And then when you eat all them, right. okay. and then all of a sudden this one piece of, of, of this black bean inside and then you pop out in your mouth, you kinda of add another dimension to, to food. All right. Okay, cool, cool. Sure. And, That's okay. the, uh... and then now come to the major star, the it's called the Pi Xian Dou Ba Xiang. Uh and, and and people like to say this is soul of 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 Xichuan cooking. Without this, it's not Xichuan cooking. Well, like yada yada, and uh, if you can find, <laughs> what is it? It's a uh, dou ban jiang, the Xichuan style dou ban jiang. Dou ban jiang. Okay, okay. Is that how it looks? Okay. Haslina yeah, says I missed um, half your show, Sebastian. Now I'm trying to understand what it is you're doing, <laughs> Haslina. <laughs> uh, we're making a mapo tofu with beef mince, which apparently is how it actually origin like. Was originally invented. Um, Haslina says, "I think I have a jar of doban jiang." Uh -huh. Well, there you go. You can make this tomorrow, Haslina. Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> I've never bought how doban jiang. <laughs> <laughs> and this one has to be uh, finely chopped. All right. Okay. So I see all these basic steps, but all this doesn't take that long. Simply, um, it's, it's very quick. And you can, you can, I mean, if you have a blender or something, the machine will be a lot faster. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, you, you want to, this one, you want the topan jiang to be finely chopped, and then you want your fermented bean to be coarsely chopped. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, got is, it, guys? This is how, coarsely chopped. Yeah. This Black is how beans, the, okay. Uh, using a very simple only a few ingredients to make uh, the multiple dimension flavor. It's cut differently, sure. uh, cook, uh, put things in different timing and steer okay. differently. Yeah, I'll, I'll show it okay. to you when I cook the people. So it's the same theory going in. And it's no different than the, how we make, uh, you know, sambal, uh, uh, tumis or something. It, it's the same. Yeah, it's the same. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Huh. It's just so that uh, sometimes we, we, doesn't, we don't know the ingredients. And that's why we yeah. have for us to make them. And once we know the sure. ingredients, all your grandma recipe and, and all the techniques uh, uh, can be used and, and interchangeable. Okay, okay, sure. So learn your ingredients, guys. Um, yeah, it, the ingredient Hasina and the cuisine. Says, cool. uh, Hasina says your bean paste is whole beans, is that right? She thinks hers is with small chunks. So yours is already ch chopped up, is that right? Um, I'm not chopped up, and this one is it, it's not. Yeah, this one is not before you chop up. Okay, cool. Yeah, by so the, if you I, I put the this in a food oil. processor, it's okay. It won't like you know, you're cool with like throwing throwing it in a food processor. Yeah, food processor. Okay. Or, or you have some kind of like a tumbo tumbo thing. And then... Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna cool. set aside now. It's good. It's good enough. That's, that's it. All right. Okay, done. All right, we're gonna fight the beef. All right, then we're gonna cool. get started. Now, typically, is that cooked in a clay pot or because I, I think I usually see it served in a clay pot, mapo tofu. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, the, the clay pot stay, the, the word tang, they stay a lot longer. <laughs> right, pot. right. It's like, okay. Now, I thought I'd ask you because some people will claim that cooking in a clay pot gives a different flavor. Do you, what do you think? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. It the, does? The flavor, what, right? it's not because, the, not because the flavor comes from the pot, but the temperature. Uh, I'm gonna drink the, the tofu lay drink. Okay, okay, sure, cool. The um, Antonia, yay, great to have you watching from Lab One. <laughs> so, we're making for those of you who are just joining us, he's making a uh, mapo tofu with 
beef mince, which are like I, I told Sebastian earlier, because I don't eat pork, so I've never actually had marble tofu. <laughs> I always thought it was sort of made with pork, but according to Sebastian, like the original version of marble tofu is actually made with beef. That's a lot of beef though, like that you're putting in. So I was quite surprised. I thought it would be like 90% tofu and like a little bit of mince in there. <laughs> cool. And also the other, I, I'm learning so much from Sebastian here, like the oil, like he had like the Sichuan um, pepper oil and that sort of stuff. And apparently there are different types of Sichuan peppers as well. So I'm going to yeah, have a look for it. Many, many kinds of Sichuan pepper and uh, from many places. Even in Japanese cooking, too, they're using it. Different types of Sichuan pepper. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have a closer look next time I go shopping at my Asian grocery store. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll add a few drops of soy sauce into here. All right. I'll add a pinch of salt. I don't want to season my beef right now, but not too much. Okay. I will make it cook. Cool. So the chili oil thing that you had earlier, you can only make it with like a chili powder? Like, uh, yeah, and, you... and traditionally they make with a different kind of a, a, a powder, like different size. Uh, let me uh, take care of this beef. I'm going to take, take half of it out first. Okay. Cool. And then I'm continuing frying the rest. Okay. Now, um, with the chili powder, uh, sorry, the chili oil thing, if you yeah. don't have chili powder, can you use your dried chili paste and fry it up with the oil or will it be different? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll taste different. We'll taste different. It'll taste different? Yeah. Okay. One, I feel like a bit too much oil, I take it out. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah, don't be afraid of uh, adding or, or subtracting. Yeah, sometimes cool. the beef, uh, depending on which cut, a lot more oil or, or a bit less oil. And they're going to cool. put the, uh, some of the uh, scallion, uh, uh, the, the just a little scallion yeah. And what we call the, spring onion here in Australia. The, they call scallion the, in America. Oh, uh, the green onion and then the shallot. So I'm and making the oil right now. Okay, yeah. okay cool. At the same time, um, frying the beef, yeah. Cool. Antonia is asking, can we use minced chicken instead um, because okay. her family is allergic to beef? Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the other thing. Like, I, I, you know, I have to admit, like, mapo tofu has always looked, like I said, yeah. yeah I've to, never to, thought to, to bring it, out, but... yeah. And then I add it back yeah. again, a little bit more simple. I don't have enough after I add the, 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 the scale in. Yeah. Cool. Haslina says, my very first mapo tofu was using only chili paste. And I cut in cubes the tofu and deep fried it. Oh, as yeah, I fo yeah, sure. followed the first recipe I found, then I researched more. It seems it shouldn't be deep fried, but my kids prefer the deep fried version. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> now, now, deep fried one is a different one. Deep fried one is Hong Sao tofu. So uh, it will be Hong different. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's different. Okay. As, as I say, you know, just like Malaysia, we have a uh, you know the, the laksa have different kind. They eat their own style. And, All and right. This time, uh, I look I look at the the, the I, I check the the onion is done. I'm gonna sure. put in my bean paste. Okay. Did put you put garlic in there. in there as well? I got it. I wait. Okay. Okay. I want to have the oil come out. Okay. I want to cook them until the oil come out. Mm -hmm. So that chili oil that you made earlier, you said that it doesn't last very long. Like, can you, can you make a batch and keep it in the fridge or like, do you only make it when you need it? I think I'm out of gas. <laughs> okay, that's uh, all right. These things happen. <laughs> Uh, Jamie Lot enjoying this is a fave of mine. Thanks, Jackie and Chef Sebastian. First time seeing with beef. Oh, thanks, uh, thanks, Jenny. Sorry, I was misread your name. <laughs> yeah, 
first time seeing it with Beeb. Yeah, me too. Well, first time seeing it, really. I've always avoided it. I wonder what Haslina, do you use chicken to make yours? Or Yeah, I've never heard of mapo tofu with Beeb, but I, I'd imagine it would be very flavorsome. Cool. And now, uh, now I see the red oil come out, and then I add in garlic. Cool. Sure. You can add yeah, so amount of, of garlic you like. I mean, I, okay. I didn't use a whole lot, and uh, I just uh, eyeballing it. Sure, sure. I think by Western standards, that is a lot of garlic, but I love my garlic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you can use it as much as you want, at least if you want. And at the sure. same what time, did, what did I'm you gonna, just add uh, in there? Huh? What did you just add in there? After the garlic, the oil, the oil, the leftover oil. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. A little bit of uh, chili powder, okay, just a little bit. Sure. Hasina says, Sebastian, you ran out of gas as you cooked too much marble <laughs> tofu today. Yeah, because I posted a picture and so did Sebastian because he already attempted to make this earlier today because he wanted to time everything. So that's very, <laughs> very dedicated of him. So I put a bit of soy sauce to deglaze it. Okay, sure, sure. And then I'm gonna put in like a maybe probably more than half a cup of a chicken broth. Chicken broth, all oh, right, okay, cool. I, mean, cool. I haven't had chicken broth, but you can use water if you don't have broth. All right, at this okay. time, I can add uh, the beef earlier, sure. The same part of the beef that I just lightly cooked, I mean, it's cooked. Uh, sure. Why did you do it that way? Why did you take out half and then continue cooking the rest of it? Um, so that I have two different uh, plate, uh, texture. texture yeah. All right. Interesting. Interesting. And now, the juice, I like it to be um, about 75% in okay. the compared to the tofu itself. So I let it cook a little. Okay. And I, I sprinkle some of the uh, sea salt uh, powder. Okay. And I ate in the black bean uh, earlier. All right, sure. Mm -hmm. The um, yeah. So I was asking you earlier with the chili oil. Can you make a batch and keep it in the fridge for for a while, or? Did you, oh, did you yeah, only sure. make enough? Okay. Sure. How long would it keep? That one uh, in the fridge, it could keep a lot longer. Okay. Sure. I have to, <clears throat> to taste it. Yeah, I see. Cool. It's salty. Hasina. Cool. Hastina's asking, are you using soft or firm tofu? That's a funny thing. We were talking about that earlier. Um, Hasina, he uses. Uh, what's labeled as soft tofu, but it looks quite firm to me. <laughs> so it's labeled soft tofu, but he says don't use silken to tofu because that's too soft. But when he opened up the pack and he cut it, he can, he can actually just kind of like slice it through and cut it like that, right? So yep. yeah, I don't I have to try it with our soft tofu and see if it's any, it so, any okay. softer. Right? It should be okay. <laughs> if, if they can be stuck in water and hold it, please. Oh, okay. tofu. Who uh, are, 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 are produced differently. And, and... all right, okay. so uh, about the yeah. starch, traditionally yeah. they put in starch in three stages. Okay, so uh, can you just repeat what type of starch you're using? I'm just using Is it... starch. On starch, okay. Hamima saying, I'm learning the right way tonight. I know, I think we all are. <laughs> Everyone who's so, attempted uh, to me. So we put before. the first round of the uh, starch in there. Okay. <clears throat> kind of push it around. Cool. And then uh, right now I'm gonna add a little bit of chili oil in here. Okay. Oh, I, I, I was thinking to you why I add the chili oil right now. Okay. And then I'll add in the uh, the scallion green and the garlic sure. green. Sure. I add a second a uh, bit more of the. Uh, Cornstarch. No. So can you use tapioca starch or potato starch instead or cornstarch oh, is oh, best oh, for this? Absolutely. 
and then okay. you do the last round just a little bit more cool <clears throat> And actually done. <clears throat> That's it. That's it. There you go, guys. <laughs> That's so fascinating. <laughs> I've yeah. never attempted to make apple tofu, but I think I will try now. All right. And then I have another ingredient I'll talk about it too. It's the uh, okay. MSG. MSG, okay? Oh, I like this. Now we're talking. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, put, I put it last, okay? I put it last. Yeah. Is there a reason I, for that? Oh yeah, it tastes better. Oh really? Yeah. Is that the case with MSG yeah. for anything you use it in? So you always yeah. add it last? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Another another cooking tip, guys. Um Hasina says you make your own chili oil, Sebastian. What are the ingredients? Oh, yeah. What can we add further to make it flavorful? There you go. Hasina, MSG. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, can you repeat the chili oil thing again? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let me uh, finish this one and then uh, we will talk about, we have some conversation about uh, some of the ingredients. <clears throat> Paul saying you're making Uncle Roger proud because <laughs> Uncle Roger, <laughs> <laughs> his, his most recent video, he was promoting MSG. Oh, really? Hey, Hello, yeah. chicken pal. Can I know, Hasina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, chicken pal. Yeah. Yeah. It looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, yeah. yeah. Sebastian, can you, uh, when you get a chance, can you repeat the chili oil thing? Because I find that really fascinating. Um, cool. So I explain to a little bit more about uh, how the Tifan make the Tifan oil. Okay. That looks amazing. That looks like the perfect color, perfect hue. But guys, don't forget, don't mash up your your, your tofu, all right? <laughs> We've all been doing it wrong this whole time. I mean, you, you, can, you can do it with your heart. <laughs> but but the, 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 the key is uh, uh, at the end, you sprinkle quite a lot of it. The Sichuan powder. What is that again? Powder, the Sichuan peppercorn powder. Okay, Sichuan peppercorn powder. Okay. So don't forget, guys, you tumbo the uh, uh, Sichuan peppercorn and then you're going to uh, sift it, right? Yeah. And um, then uh, I add some uh, Sichuan peppercorn oil. Okay, Sichuan peppercorn oil. So go and okay, look I, in your Asian grocery store for yeah, Sichuan peppercorn oil. If you don't yeah, have that, can you leave it out or use something yeah, else? Yeah, leave it out. Leave it out. You can make your own, okay. but uh, quite quite long process. And then if I want more chili oil, I have more chili oil. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, wow. Cool. Okay. And done. There you go. <laughs> Oh, Chef Ismail Ahmad. Yay. Chef is the, the, uh, the legendary Dato Ismail Ahmad says fantastic recipe. I love it. Yay. Oh, cool. Chef Ismail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great to have you. Yeah. That's high praise yeah. from Chef Ismail. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you everyone for, uh, for coming. And, and Yeah. No, great to have you. So tell us, yeah. tell us some more about the chili oil thing. Cause Haslina yeah, was asking like, yeah. <clears throat> The chili oil, I have two kinds of chili oil here on, on, on my case. I mean, use, uh, usually uh, the, when they make the chili oil, they have uh, at least three kinds of chili powder inside. And one is for uh, spiciness, and one is for uh, color, and one is for flavor. And the flavor one uh, usually look like a ball, uh, uh, about this size, and it's round. Okay, okay. Yeah. So and... flavor, color, and spiciness, those are the three yeah. things. Yeah. To, so to, yeah. to produce Sichuan chili oil. It's hot oil, yep. the, 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 the more authentic kind. I mean, I'll say authentic. I mean, and okay. I, I work <laughs> with restaurants that they only use one kind and work out we just fine too. But this is more okay. <clears throat> traditional way of making how food uh, taste uh, more uh, uh, dimension. And then the, okay. before, they, before they make the hot oil, they actually fry the onion and they're using at least three kind of onion inside to fry the oil. And 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 some of them might use spices in there too to infuse and make either the oil even more flavorful. And then right, when the oil right. and, until the, all the all the onion are brown and then you scoop it out and then heat up the oil until eighty percent hot. And then this powder they pour the hot oil at least three stages. And this powder have different grade and some are more fine and some are, are bigger pieces. 
and, and, and the pour in three stages. Uh, one, when the hot oil just take out from your stove, it's very hard. So they pour into one third to it, let it sizzle in third. And so that part is, is, is higher temperature. And then they wait a little and then pour the second time. The oil is cooled down a little. So it produces different flavor. And then another time. And then let it sit. Yeah. And, and it will be right. overnight and used. Yeah. So, okay, so this, okay. is the, the, this is the ancient uh, wisdom of our, our cooking uh, culinary. All right. Yeah. So you can't <laughs> use it right away. It's be better that you leave it overnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the color cannot okay. come out. And, and oh, you can nice. smell it. It's just so flavorful. And that's the reason why I put it at the end. I don't want to cook it and cook it off the flavor. So I, I put okay. it at you know, the end. Yeah, okay. it's very flavorful. Just, just smell it like, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. Chef, yeah. Ismail, uh, Chef Ismail was saying, so nice to makan with hot rice. I know, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Especially yeah. Coming up. This, is, this, this was uh, <laughs> when the creator, it was uh, strictly, you know, to, to, to eat with rice. And, 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 and that's the, the dish, the, 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 the numbness. And, 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 and you might notice that, that I didn't put any sugar in here. There's no sugar. In okay. In my, sure. my recipe, there's no sugar, there's no ginger, there's no, there's no sesame oil. Okay, I was going to ask you about sesame oil. <laughs> I'm glad yeah, I didn't. Yeah. On, on <laughs> Amima recipe, says that must be a very real Sichuan recipe. Thank you. Wow, there you go. High praise okay. from Dr. Amima. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and Jenny Locke says, very detailed, especially using chicken stock at MSG. Great dish, Chef. There you go. Uh, the MSG part is, is optional. MSG is optional. Oh, MSG is optional. For those of you who are scared of MSG, yeah, you can leave it out. Yeah, <laughs> Make that say it's appetizing. But, yeah, but uh, <laughs> but you can you can taste it yourself. I put so little on it, you can see. And, and you can taste just like day and night and when the flavor is just kind uh, of uh, uh, smoke it out. Uh, yeah, you, you sure. can tell it like, oh, yeah. You know. Sure, sure, so, cool. Uh, so Chef Ismail says congratulations. Chef Dato Ismail says, congratulations. There you go. <laughs> Adam, Adam says, thanks from California, Sebastian. Yay, Adam. <laughs> Must be early in California yet. Yeah, Haslina says, wow, fascinating process. So guys, don't forget, right? If you want the recipe, you need to sign up at malaysianchefs.com slash join today. And Sebastian has promised by Monday, he will have a recipe for us, okay? Then you can go through all the steps again and watch the replay so you can nail this properly. Christopher says many different variations of this dish. Yay. I know, right? But yeah, so this is like Sebastian's very traditional Sichuan peppercorn, uh, Sichuan, uh, what's that? Mapo tofu, but beef, yep. right? Yeah. Yep. So is there anything else you want the uh, audience to know about this dish? Any last uh, tips or anything like that? Oh uh, yeah, I should I should I should uh, wrap it up with the uh, uh, to judge in the uh, traditional uh, Sichuan uh, uh, mapo tofu. They have uh, eight point. It's called a ma la jiang su xian nun tang zhen. This is like okay. <laughs> a mouthful. Okay, I'll explain. I know. So <clears throat> so earlier we talk about ma and la already, and we talk about the tang already, and then they talk about xian, which means uh, uh, aromatic. Okay. So yeah, it should be to smell the aromatic. I can smell it and, and from the uh, okay. from the garlic and the some peppercorn. And su is it is talk about the meat. Yeah. Uh, the uh, meat. Okay. The, the beef part, yeah. And, okay. and the xian, xian is like a tasty. And noon is, is I mean like very tender. That's the that's the soft soft tofu part. Okay. And earlier we talked about the sun with the one the, the hold the shape, the, the tofu should hold its shape, not broken. Like okay. Hard. Yeah, that's how the what's the word for that again? Huh? What's the word for that again? Um, I, I use the other word called chen. I don't know how to say their their their, their language. Chen. Okay. It's called, okay. Yeah, sure. Chen, sure. Like a like a whole different. But I think they their their original okay. words. I think it's own. Yeah, it, it write differently. Okay. Right. Right. But it sure. means the same. Yeah, it means the same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. How fascinating. So if you guys want to enter a competition for mapo tofu. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to Sebastian, all right? He'll, he'll coach you on how to make a, 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 a competition winning marble tofu. All right. <laughs> well, this is fantastic, guys. Um, 
then you reckon Sebastian would love to have you back. And of course, Chef Ismail, we are waiting for you to come back anytime you want. Um, we've got an amazing group of chefs in MOMC and MOMC at heart. And we're so grateful to have Sebastian spend his time to make this. So don't forget, sign up at our website, malaysianchefs.com slash join today. And you can get a hold of this recipe and all the other recipes at some point. <laughs> um, so uh, we'd love for you to join us again coming this coming Monday, our series, our MOMC series with the Queen's recipes, uh, Her Majesty, Her Queen Aziza of Malaysia. She's got two cookbooks out and our MOMC chefs are cooking from those cookbooks and we have a number of high profile co-hosts joining us as well. So make sure you tune in on Monday for our two sessions with uh, Queen Aziza's recipes, okay? Uh, yeah, thanks again, uh, Sebastian. Really appreciate this. Okay. And we look forward to having you back again soon. And thanks, have a wonderful night or wonderful rest of the day wherever you are, everyone. And we'll bump out as usual with Tourism Malaysia. See you later. Bye. Ha ha ha!